Hey, what's up? My name is Ken Pamola. I want to go over uh, talk about takedowns for grapplers. I feel that this area is really, really uh, not so touched upon, and I feel there is a lot of misinformation and there's a lot of instruction that's just not working within the grappling realm. Otherwise, you would see all these jiu-jitsu fighters with amazing takedowns, which we don't. And I think there's a lot of reasons. One reason is that a lot of the teachers that are high-level wrestlers don't know how to communicate to teach the grappler. They're teaching them like they are already a seasoned wrestler. But when you teach a grappler, you're going to have to teach them at their model of the world, their skill level, level, and put the foundation and the basics there. And a lot of people that are at the high level, sometimes it's really about going hard, because I was a Division One wrestler at two different schools, and it seems the motto and the mantra is go hard, go hard, where we didn't really break the te techniques down as much. So when I started doing jiu-jitsu, became a black belt, I really started analyzing wrestling and takedowns, and I got a whole lot better because I did that, but I was also much better at teaching people. And, and sometimes we assume so much that people know so much about takedowns, and then they don't learn takedowns, and they don't come to class, and they never grasp takedowns, and we can't figure out why. So I'm gonna show you a basic concept, technique to begin if you've never done a takedown, never start out on the feet, don't feel comfortable, because this is common. What I tell people to do is I say, you gotta get in a good stance, you put your chest out, your head up, your head above your butt, and you're on your toes. So what people do is, they start to be like a robot, and they're here, and they're getting so tired, and they're just like, their back's hurt. Man, I don't want to learn takedowns. This stuff is painful. These takedowns hurt. And then by the time they're going against somebody, they can't react because their position is so tight. Would you agree, Steve? Yeah. So what I tell people to do, like my little trick, um, is, you know, uh, uh, basically, just shake here. So here. This is how I warm up for a wrestling match or whatever. So I'm just like, almost like dancing in a way, you know? Like I'm very, very, um, nah, I'm very, very fluid here and shaking my arms, but I'm super loose. So I'd rather go from this into my stance than come from robot man to here. So I'm here. Now I can be mobile on my feet. But sometimes when I come here, I'm just not comfortable. So what I recommend is this. If Steve is in front of me, in this direction, so the camera can see, I'm not gonna be here in a seven minute match for seven minutes, it's gonna be hard. So I just wanna get used to him moving around. And then if I don't like the situation or I'm not comfortable, rather than staying here and coming up and being in bad position with a short distance where he can attack my hips, what I'm gonna do is, I'm in a circle, but I'm gonna come, I'm gonna make a wider circle. I'm not gonna stall back up. When I make that wider circle, I come out of my stance. This is my break, okay? So this is my break now. I'm out of my stance, it's not that hard on my legs. And then, as I come back, I lower. So I'm not backing up straight away because that's gonna be stalling in wrestling and maybe jiu-jitsu to warn you or something for uh, disengaging or something, whatever the rules are. So I don't come out straight. I circle and then I can come up. The goal should be to shadow spar in front of the mirror, hold this for 30 seconds, 30 second break, work up to a minute, work up to five minutes where you can just be in your stance the whole time. Good drills for this. Sit against the wall, get really good at it. Leg out, a lot of different stuff that you can do to strengthen this position. So, again, how do I get my stance? Don't get in again. Get loose. Here, very, very, very wiry here, loose. Again, almost like you're, you're dancing. Here, now I'm in my stance. Now I'm comfortable. I got a little hop in my step. Not so much pressure on my legs, they're not so tight. Keep my hands out. Bye. Do my moves. And when we come right here, oftentimes I see this. Hold the breath too tight. That's my tip to begin being mobile on your feet for the takedown game. This is from me seeing this and teaching this and doing this for such a long time. And this has been a root of many problems because all the stuff that, the symptoms that break down after this, not getting in the shot, not having to sprawl, not finishing. 
Start from the foundation. So, I hope this helps. Let me know how to help you.